<clears throat> a good point was made in one of the videos I made recently on this stuff, on material, on ideas being material, that uh, trying to make the distinction, actually just asserting that, uh, the distinction that, uh, between material and physical, you know, material really is stuff, you know, that, that's things, particles, for example. Um, because I think I can definitely argue that these bosons, like the, um, like a photon, are, is, is uh, you know, is material because of, of Einstein, you know, because of E, e equals mc squared, but, um, but these more difficult things like space, empty space, but I've always felt, well, it is something, and, you know, I confirmed that for myself, first of all, when, by breaking things down into the stream of perceptions we get, you know, things are, are st stuff that can interact with me. Well, I can interact with an empty space, it's a, you know, it's a, uh, it's, it's a space I can move around in, you know, and that's, that's interacting with it, that's how you interact with spaces. But, you know, also in terms of calling it material, you know, yeah, I, I have a tendency to think, yeah, there is stuff everywhere. And uh, quantum mechanics, there's a theoretical particle that hasn't been detected yet, but the Higgs boson. And space itself is, is maybe a superfluid um, of these, these bosons. And that's, that's really why... Uh, things like light can travel through so-called empty space. Uh, it's just like electrons traveling through uh, superconducting uh, metal. And, um, you know, it's funny because it's like the Higgs condensate, the Higgs field is a, uh, you know, it's like the ether, but it's just not like the ether because the ether was supposed to have this um, inertial reference frame, uh, which it doesn't have, and and the super uh, super fluid Higgs condensate would not would uh, not break the rules of relativity because of the the weird quantum materials that it, it, it maintains its relativity. So. Um, so yeah, in that sense, <clears throat> so-called empty space is also made of these particles, um, which are these Higgs bosons. And um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, I can use the word physical if you really want to, to understand that. I can say that a measurement is physical rather than material. Um, they're really synonymous to me, but one sounds better in one sentence, another sounds better in another, but really I like I like using them interchangeably and, and seeing how that works out. Um, but, you know, if you measure a distance or a distribution of particles that they're in a triangular or, you know, they're in a square arrangement or something like this, you know, those are physical properties when you're measuring all those distances and angles that are involved in, in, describing, uh, in describing an arrangement. And I think that's true of all patterns, you know, you require um, the so-called objects that are material um, in order to make abstractions about them, like, oh, they're all in a line, you know, that you're making an abstraction that's about material things, it is still material. The way you get that abstraction is you ignore certain details, you know, you ignore the fact that maybe they're a little off the line, or even if they are exactly on the line, you ignore the fact that that they're different things, uh, and it's no big deal that you're ignoring it, it's intentional. But that's what you're doing, you're trying to look at them as though their position is their center of mass or something, and they're arranged in this abstraction, you are ignoring details. It's like when you say something exists, you're ignoring all the other details about it. And so, you know, if you take material facts, like here's an apple of this exact shape, and here's another one, and there's five total of them, if you are ignoring all the facts except for the ones that they're on a straight line, then you know you still are going to have something material. It's just missing some of the facts. It didn't become immaterial just because you ignored some of the material facts and relied on other ones. So, but yeah, look up those Higgs bosons. It's pretty weird stuff. <clears throat>